A disabled person reads the table of meteor at part 56, Christmas Ever After. This is a Lifetime movie that you can find on Hulu starring Tony winner Ali Stroker. They did something with the rep here that I've never seen before, which we're going to get to in a second. But first of all, I will say I did not like this movie. It was not like fun cheesy. It was just cheesy. You know, like the Netflix style of Lifetime Christmas movie is so absurdly bad. It's fun. This was just bland Lifetime Christmas movie. But the rep was great. Ali is a wheelchair user, so therefore her character is a wheelchair user. And they just never mentioned it. No one asks. She doesn't talk about her experience. She doesn't have issues being accommodated because she's in spaces she normally navigates. So those spaces are used to her and she's used to them and she just existed as herself. And it made me realize how much with disability representation, we almost require the script to have some sort of explanation or things about that particular identity baked into it. When here she just existed as herself, playing the character, did things that are normal to her and that was it. I don't know how I entirely feel about that because on one level, it almost felt like she was living in a world without ableism, which felt kind of off to me, but also like we have queer representation and BIPOC representation in this film without any further explanation either, nor do we majorly expect it for those things. So, well, maybe more for queer folks, but still, it was kind of refreshing and I'm really into it. So let's have, let's play more with this. Let's do more of the this in our media.